Well, Jake Ifshin, right? But, That's right. <laughs> but it's not that.org. It's everybodygrows.org, right? That's right. And what were you? You were a teacher before doing this or a musician or a little bit of both? What were you doing before? A little bit of both. I was a really? full-time teacher. Full-time teacher. What level? I taught preschool. Preschool. Wow. <laughs> and you gave it all up for the dirt. So you, you just envied those preschool kids digging in the dirt. You want to do it yourself? <laughs> well, the kids taught me to really love gardening and getting outside again. And uh, that, they, they got me really kindled my passion for growing. Ah, and okay. so a year ago, I left teaching. Ah. And I went full time working for Everybody Grows. Wow! And Everybody Grows. I mean, this is your mom and dad are part of this too. Huh? Yeah, they started it five years ago. Wow! And last year they needed somebody to really be an engine behind it and to get uh -huh. things going. And uh, I, I took I took over that role <laughs> after being a long time volunteer <laughs> and uh, sort of part of the genesis of it. Right. I kind of stepped up and. Uh, I've been trying to organize things, and you know, I'm the, I'm the everybody grows you'll see on the social media and the Facebook. So it's really, I mean, you're there to help the community. This is a nonprofit yes, organization, right. Right. and you're teaching people about people about food, how to grow their own food, screw Safeway, right? Yeah, you don't need that. You get better food <laughs> from your backyard. That's right. And, and you're showing kids how to do it. You're a nursing home. Here we're in front of a firehouse. Now th this is one of your not customers, but people you're helping learn how to grow. I mean, you, you have all this, these, uh, what do you call them, the plots of <laughs> raised, bed gardens, raised yeah. bed gardens over yeah, here. Yeah, the D.C. Fire Department's a really important partner yeah. for us, and we have four fire station gardens right now. We're at Engine 26 today on Rhode Island Avenue in Northeast D.C., and this station is our largest garden. And we're excited to be back again this year and planting vegetables. Did I use deodorant today? Because you're f going away. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I don't lose you here. So, so these are partners, and you're yes. teaching them how to grow. Right. And, and these guys make their own meals and everything, yeah. and so you have big banquets with all your food. Huh? We do. We come in and we cook with them, and we uh, we, we harvest from the garden. So we're here twice a month uh -huh. at this station, and yeah, we're here all we're here a, a good bit. And you know this station actually grew a lot of its own food. So 25 oh, years ago, they they were growing their food, and that kind of faded. You know the veterans told me all about that. How they, grew, <laughs> how they grew corn here. So you resurrected it. That's the idea. Yeah. It's kind of reskilling that's happening around yeah. urban agriculture, and so they're, they're really excited to jump in. And, and, and they, you know, every shift has sort of two chefs on the oh, ship. Oh really? And so we'll partner with those guys, show them what's in the garden. This herb you can use with your chicken, or this this will be good for a salad next week. So we try to keep the dialogue going and say, tell them what's ready and uh, yeah, get them to help them get going. <laughs> but I see you're also in nursing homes. That's right. Man, I mean, that sounds ingenious. I mean, it keeps these people living longer, right? Enjoying life and getting more out of life when they see things grow. Oh yeah, it's been such a privilege. It's, it's our second year. Yeah. We're in a nursing home in Mount Pleasant called Stoddard Baptist Nursing uh -huh. Home. And it's it's a joy to go there and to see people being inspired to get up, and get, get out of their yeah. wheelchair, to um, get their hands dirty. It really it's a beautiful thing to see and really a powerful therapeutic experience too. I would think so because I mean sitting in a nursing home everybody's taking care of you right and they have nothing to take care of right and yeah. nothing so now you give them something to worry about you know are, are my cucumbers gonna wake up in the morning you know and also <laughs> not like, only hey, me hey what's happening to my cucumbers should I go outside and, exactly. and check on them right you know, can I get out even just look on the balcony yeah. and that motivation is really important as you yeah. get older. No I, I think it's it's perfect because it, yeah, we, we want to put people with nothing to worry about, and that that sounds like death right away. Why they why are they there? And so you give them something to worry about and something yeah. to watch grow. <laughs> and and the, what could be more important? Why why isn't this everywhere? Why why aren't you doing every nursing home? Why why don't people well, do this? We more? mean it when we say everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so we think that it should be everybody, yeah. and uh, at least having the opportunity. Yeah. That's the key thing. There's a lot of populations that don't have the opportunity. Yeah. If, if you are living in a nursing home right. and you want to go out and start a garden, yeah. it's not an easy thing to do. Yeah. You know, there's not a space, you don't have a backyard. Right. Um, so this is facilitating, really. This yeah. is saying, here it is, now you got to take care of it. Nice. It's for you. So another, like in the nursing home, you, you have this bed on wheels uh, right. <laughs> that they could just wheel a wheelchair up and take care of the little plants and, yeah. and, and on the way. We're happy this year we rolled out a custom uh, bed in, in partnership with Urban Farm Plans. Uh, and this is a bed is four feet by eight feet. You can pull your wheelchair up right below it. Wow. And the water funnels off so it doesn't drip on you. I see. <laughs> so really I wouldn't notice and anyway. We right? rolled one out, um, rolled yeah. one out last week. And it was great to see a woman in a wheelchair could reach every single part ah, of that garden. No and it's just as big as the, as the gardens you see here today. Wow. And, uh, Wow. 32 square feet garden. Wow. So now, but kids, I mean, you're yeah. in the preschool and everything.
Fantastic. <laughs> so I'm still I'm still at my preschool at Temple Emanuel, yeah. the Childhood Center, right. uh, one day per week. And there's a really vibrant gardening community going there. I'm really proud of it. And the kids right now are designing two of their own gardens. Wow. They're growing their own food. They actually grow food and they give it to Meals on Wheels. Oh, really? Yeah, Wonderful. Every year yes. we have, they have, the school has a partnership yes. and temple with Meals on Wheels. So we have a tzedakah garden there, which means charity in Hebrew. I see. <laughs> and so it's, you know, they'll, they'll run up with a basket of cucumbers up to Meals on Wheels. And, oh, uh, wonderful. And provide the food. So not yeah. only do they learn that cucumbers don't even only come from Safeway, <laughs> they come from the ground and they can make it happen. So that's the answer we get. Where does a cucumber come from? All right. The store. It's always, where does a tomato come from? The store. store. And how, how do you, how did it get to the store? A, a car. <laughs> a car brought it there. So these are, so. But these are three year olds too doing yeah, it. Yeah, actually we have, um, yeah, from two years up, we wow. have people gardening. And today, um, at our volunteer event, we have families from the from the school here, uh, five year old and two seven year olds. Oh, will be here planting the garden. I see. Oh, are, they're starting to show up now. Yeah, we're starting yeah. to get uh, yeah. a few volunteers. Right. <laughs> and we'll have a couple young families. And these are some of the best workers we uh -huh. have. Are the, the the children that come out and and the, their, their their desire to work and ability to work is uh, they're the best. Yeah. So if I were watching you talk about this and I said, oh shit, this is neat. How do I do something? Yeah. Well, you know, if I contact you, how could you help me or how could I help you or or what could we help each other with? Sure, we'd love to first have people go to our website uh -huh. to learn more about us, everybodygrows.org. Uh -huh. Also, you can email us at info at everybodygrows.org. Uh -huh. so any questions, <laughs> uh, we, we want everybody gardening. So yeah. wherever you are, whoever you yeah. are, we at least want to be talking to you. And we, we're connected with a lot of other organizations and programs in D.C., so we can try and help you figure out what's the best But even no matter method. where I live, I mean, yeah. if I want to know something about urban gardening or just gardening in my suburbs or whatever, you could point me? Is that what you that's can what do, too? That's what we can too? do. Yeah. You know, we use raised bed gardening, mm -hmm. and that's a really versatile technique to I garden see. in. It doesn't matter that's what, what we the soil on the ground is. You're bringing in <coughs> boxes, yeah. filling them with soil, and you're ready to go. You're ready to plant. Mm -hmm. A lot of advantages. So that's one of the most common ways we recommend people mm -hmm. start growing food. And then I think as you get as you as you get into it like I have, then you start figuring out all I kinds see. of vertical growing or in ground growing techniques that. Uh, so if I was subversive in my family and say, "Hey, I want to get one of these in my backyard," yeah. I could email you guys or something. Say, "Hey, how do I do this?" And and I live in Southern New Jersey, and you could point me somewhere or something like sure, that. Sure, we'd be happy to help. Yeah. People. Yeah, send us an email yeah. and, we'll, and we'll, we'll pass you on. Our website will give, gives three techniques. I so see. So container cool. gardening is a great method. I think I've learned so much just from random Google searches. I see, I right. things I want to learn. So we also can uh, talk about books. You know, uh -huh. that, that would be great right. for you. There's so much out there. Today you'll see what we're doing is square foot gardening. And I'd really encourage uh, new gardeners to get started. Uh, square foot. With square foot. Oh, that's so, with the, the uh, grids in the boxes. Yeah. Exactly. We've yeah. divided a grid. And that allows people to know just how much space. I'm yeah, I see. So one of the hardest things for experts yeah. and beginners is how much is spacing the garden right. Either you have plants too bunched together or there's too much room and you're wasting ah, you know, your, your valuable right. garden space. Sounds like my sock drawer. Yeah. <laughs> <And> this, <laughs> this, this method also allows a big group of whether it's older adults or children to come and all garden at the same time. I and see. And kind of get it right so we get a good yield. And how how could they help you? I mean, how, if somebody watches, how, if we come here, do you have a place to donate or can we volunteer sure. or what? We love donations and volunteers. Yeah, okay. They're both on our website. So, okay. And uh, maybe you can share the info uh, okay. with the video too. And we okay. Can, we can do it, I think. Um, but we, we're definitely looking to continue to grow our project, mm -hmm. add better programming. Oh, you want this to garden. grow too, huh? We want this to be bigger. <laughs> yeah. you know, we're really excited about this fire station yeah. here. We want to see more gardens yeah. here. We want to see rainwater collection happen. We're going to make this happen. Right. We want to grow, uh, possibly looking at fruit trees in the back wow. of the station. They have wow. over an acre and a half of land. Fruit, here. fesh off the vine. Right, you know, Wonderful. I mean, you can imagine being a firefighter. You just got back and you can <laughs> exactly. go nice and pick some fruit, peach. pick an apple or a peach oh, in your yeah. backyard. Yeah, nice juicy but peach. That's an important experience. <laughs> we we yeah. want to offer that to people, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you. So everybyborygrows.org. Everybody grows. That's right. Right. Yeah. Help them out, man. We're doing Please good stuff us. here. Yeah. We all got to learn this stuff. <laughs> it doesn't just grow. come to stores. It comes from you. Thank, <laughs> thank you so you, much. Matthew.